Hello, my name is Benny and in my tutorial series I want to show you why it makes sense to use TypeScript and how TypeScript can help you to make less errors and improve the quality of your code. In this video I will show you how TypeScript can help you finding missing switch cases. And for this particular reason I created uh, demo code. I have this get interest rate function which gets a loan. The loan has a term so the um, interval of the contract period and also a type if you want to take loan for a new car or you want to buy a home or you want to refinance something it's all up to you with this loan you can set okay what is the type of loan and how long should the contract run then this function takes this loan and returns the interest rate if you take a loan for just one year you have 1.75 and for two or three years you get 2.96% interest rate. And for four years, 3.5. And this looks all right, but actually there is a problem because we can see here already that there is a five years period. And this period is not taken care of in this switch statement. And if you would run this code, it will work fine until someone comes and says, hey, I want to take a loan for five years. And then this function returns undefined. So how can we create a function that actually spots these kind of errors? In JavaScript, we can't do that because JavaScript has no return type. But with TypeScript, we can add a return type. And we can add that we always want to return a number. And then TypeScript will already show us an error because it will tell us that uh, we not always return a number. If I hover over this problem, I see the code, the error code 2366 and it tells me that my function lacks a return statement. So why does my function doesn't have always a return statement? It doesn't always have a return statement because I don't have a case that handles the five years and TypeScript knows from the loan interface that there can be a term that can be five years. TypeScript inspects that and knows, okay, I'm missing a case here. So how can I get out of this problem? I can for example, at the default case. And here I could, for example, throw an error. And I say that the term, the term of five years is invalid. So I can say invalid term and then take loan term here and throw this error so that uh, the application can handle that then and show that to the user that we don't accept this term, for example. Or I could say I also return a default, which is five. So every contract period that is above four years gets a default interest rate of 5%. This default I could also use in as the last line here in the code because then it will run through the switch statement no case will match so it will then go into this line here 25 and return the 5 that's also possible or I can do something which would be more beneficial which is really implementing the last case here that I missed which is the case for five years and then I return my five that would be the best because this way we handle all the terms and we are sure that no case is missed because TypeScript is now happy and doesn't complain. So that's a big feature. But let's check how our code looked like in the beginning. In the beginning, we didn't add this type here, the return type. We didn't add the explicit return type and we didn't have this case. And still TypeScript was happy with it. Yeah, we didn't gain much. We only gained the um, error inspection by adding then the number and then being forced by TypeScript to adding also the case for that. And when we remove the number return type, like I just did, then we don't see any error. So how can we also have TypeScript helping us here? We can um, make use of a compiler feature actually, because like let's hover over that function. If I hover over that function, then my IDE is smart enough to tell me that I have three 
definite values that are returned, 1.75, 2.96, 3.5, and this undefined. This undefined is implicitly returned because when no case matches, then this function will return undefined. And TypeScript is okay with it, but we can tell TypeScript to not be okay with it. If we go in the compiler configuration, we can set no implicit returns to true. So TypeScript will complain if there are implicit returns because it wants to have no implicit returns, which is great because the stricter TypeScript is, the more errors you will get shown by the compiler which means that you need to handle more cases and you will become a better programmer over time. Because otherwise TypeScript doesn't allow you to do the things you plan to do. So if we go back here, then we see that TypeScript complains because it says not all code paths return a value, which is true because there are some paths that return um, fixed value, but then there's one path that um, results in undefined. So if we then return not undefined, like this is what implicitly happens. Yeah? And we don't want that, we don't want undefined. We want to have a number value. Now you see already, like if I write return undefined, TypeScript is happy because this undefined, I write now on purpose. Yeah? I put the undefined here, meaning that I'm really forcing the code to return it. It's not implicit, it's explicit written by me. But if I bring back, the return type number here, then it will also complain because undefined is not of type number. Yeah? And then I have to bring back a number here. So that is uh, very important to know. And what I suggest, what is being the best here, is actually adding your case. So the last case here was the case with five years. And if we add this case, and if we have an explicit return type, then we are sure that this function returns a number. We can also make this a bit more tight. So for example, if we um, hover over that function here, then the IDE tells me that now any number can be returned, which is in fact not true because not any number can be returned here, only these four numbers can be returned. If I remove the number type again, I will see that the IDE shows me now these um, four numbers. So actually only these four can be returned. So we can copy that. Can we copy that? Yep. And then add this here. Our return type is now more specific. So not any number is then possible. And this also means that here our code when it is executed, shows that we get only these um, four numbers back and not any number. So the code that uses this function, const uh, interest rate. So now our interest constant doesn't get back any number, but only the set of these four numbers. The tooltip here shows it. And if this list gets longer and longer, you can also take all of these and you can create your own type. I will name the type interest rate and I will export it for the sake of reusability. So let's define a type here. The interest whoop, rate, oh, German keyboard, hard to type. <laughs> and here you can assign th these four numbers then and use this type here to have a better overview when you are looking at the function's signature. All right, I hope this was helpful for you. And if you're interested in more TypeScript tricks and tips, just subscribe to the TypeScript TV channel on YouTube.